welcome back to Lucid 9, where I'm over 100 episodes in, and I still want to know why I'm doing this series. Yes, we're over 100 episodes in. You can easily just check the number. I don't exactly know which number, because uh, I never really check on that. <laughs> yes, squeaky chair, I know! Thanks for telling me more. <laughs> well, I guess that's uh, us. No, wait. Anything uh, oh. I'm fine, everything's okay. It's not okay. Okay, I have a feeling she knows something's off. I wait, but didn't receive another message. Well, suit herself, at least I asked. Hang my uniform over the shower and head to and head to the living room, plopping down on the sofa. It's been such a long day. It's definitely nice to catch my breath for a second. Or not Don't tell please tell me you have your pants on. <laughs> I wearily crack the door open, but it's just Mickey. Twirling her phone between her fingers in uh, an obvious worry. Shit, something's definitely off. Mitsuki, now that I think about it, she wasn't at school today, was she? Was she? I don't fucking know! It's been a while since I last recorded a video! Wait, how's it? <laughs> I wouldn't... I went in the gap in the door, posting on a smile. What brings you here? Are you about to sleep so early? What? <laughs> All right, showered and uh, I'm in my pajamas. No, this is, well, a long story. <laughs> what have you been up to? I didn't see you at school today. I was at school. I made sure not to be seen. Damn it! <laughs> Don't tell me you hid behind a tree branch. Apparently no one can hide and see behind a tree branch. God damn it. I was proceeding. No. I was proceeding with the work to, to the Gawudsi Institute. I came to thank you for yesterday. Oh yeah, we did a thing yesterday. You could have just called me. I wanted to thank you in Boston. How nice of you. <laughs> Something about her tone tells me that that isn't the only reason she came. But I'm really not in the mood to probe her about it. It was no problem. I'll see you tomorrow, Miki. I have a feeling she's gonna go, no. I begin closing the door, but she steps in front of her. She stomps her foot. Yama? Is there something wrong? No. Run out the window! Run out the window! <laughs> What makes you say say that? Answering my que answering a question with another question just proves that there is. Do I need a reason? <laughs> I'm here if you want to talk about it. No, jump out the window, bro. Jump out the window. There's no other way around this. <laughs> she can't stop you. <laughs> she has to go down the stairs first. <laughs> Besides, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Uh, tell you myself. Don't you dare tell me she has a knife. <laughs> you invite me to skin is or now is not the good time. God damn it. She has something to ask, so the nice thing is just to invite me to skin. But if I want to be a dick, which actually seems rather tempting. 
It's obviously not a good time, but I want to get the good ending. If there has multiple endings. <laughs> I'm gonna think about this. Seems somewhat out of character for me, but who cares? <laughs> sure, come in. I step to the side so I uh, so she can enter. She glances around my apartment as she slides her shoes against the wall. So this is your apartment. It's a lot cleaner than I expected. What you expected? Freaking jizz stains everywhere. The thanks, I think. You disappoint me. I, you had higher expectations. <laughs> Lower expectations. After all her exp expansion, she pinches. She perches on the sofa. I slouch beside her. About my outburst yesterday. I'm sorry you had to see that. What outburst? I had. She might have had an outburst, but I completely forgot about it. <laughs> it's fine. You don't need to have to apologize. I do. I was out of line. I just didn't want to affect your relationship with Rhea. Okay, now I actually kind of feel bad. On the other hand. Eh, who cares? It's, oh, now I remember. Now I remember her outburst. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Don't tell me you're trying to fur us up, too. <laughs> the immediate zoom in. I wish I could do that myself, but I don't have the equipment. But yes, thank you. <laughs> you saved me on half the shit I don't need to do. <laughs> Mitsuki suddenly grabs me by the collar and a hard glint in her eyes. What's the deal? You've practically known her forever. And am I supposed to be insane? I just didn't feel that way about her. How do you feel about her then? She's just a friend? Uh, I have a feeling that this is, that there's definitely a deeper meaning, and I should totally know what it is, but I have a feeling that everyone can kind of see that every, that she likes me, but at that point, I'm guessing too far into this, and I'm only assuming. <laughs> I've only... This game has been around for on my channel for how fucking long, and, I'm re and I already know this. She examines me for a moment, not critically, but extremely bewildered. It's not clear that Rhea doesn't feel the same way. Have you spoken to her about it? Uh, I would like more of a reason behind it, but I could, I can only remember a few instances and that's it. He, she wouldn't take. She wouldn't take it well. I'd uh, only end up hurting her. Don't you think avoiding the subject would hurt her more? Actually, that, that actually brings up a good point. Either way, it makes entertaining uh, shit for me. <laughs> how would you hurt? How would it hurt her? She's holding back in the hopes that. You make the first move. It's Romance 101, Yama! Okay, now I'm being told by other people. I don't like it. <laughs> I like figuring shit out on my own. And then poking fun at shit. <laughs> okay, damn it. I can't exactly do anything about that, Miki. She sighs, releasing me as she slumps back into the sofa. I still think you should have attack with the Re remotely speaking, she's right. Maybe it's unfair. <laughs> Maybe being selfish, but he is my friend. First and foremost, I'm not sure if I want to lose that. I am not a professional in this field. 
I am saying that out loud. I am not a professional in this field. <laughs> I'm a professional dumbass, and that's the lie. <laughs> well, there could be other things, but eh, who cares about that? I'll keep that in mind. She waves her hand. Dismissively. Anyway, mind explaining that burst, uh, that burst on, on your face. Oh, burst. What? Oh, yeah. The argument I had with Mostow. I lay on my head back, sure of where to begin. Obvious I can't tell her the whole story, I'm sure. How she'd react and mention that I almost drowned today, especially since she knew about my condition. I got into a fight with Mastow earlier. Really? What about? Also a long story. I mean, that's it. God damn it. A sudden flood of neglect. Negative emotion bounds me as I recall the event. I didn't even know. He just seemed angry. Kept telling me that I wasn't trying hard enough. I thought he was talking about track. He's been trying to get me to join track every day. But it didn't seem like that, like it. I see. Mitsuki contains... Uh, this is for a moment, as she twirls her phone between her fingers. I used to have a friend in Sato some years ago. And? At first we near, never thought. <coughs> you drink before you really start the next video, <laughs> or even the end of this video. I got, but at first we never really got along much. To be honest, every time I asked if he wanted to hang out with me, he usually refused. So I ended up dragging him along anyway. After a while. I started to think that he might have hated me. I could have just stopped talking to him, but it made me angry that he didn't want to tell me what he was, what his problem was. So one day I just snapped. I and Adam, thinking back on it now, I feel really bad for doing it. Because I didn't know. That's that he was dealing with his own issues. Now we know. The words came out in brutal and barely a whisper, her eyes drifting to the floor. She's talking about me, isn't she? I fell on that from my chest as the memories from back then resurfaced. No, I'd rather not be remembered of that time. Not again. Not so soon. What exactly is your point, Ma Mitsuki? M my words came out harsh than intended. But I did apologize. She didn't seem a bit taken aback at my response. It's just, I think, whatever bothering Mazdao, it must be something personal. Otherwise, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't have outraged and outright told you what he was found was. The most I can say is that it's complicated. He wanted him, he wanted uh, our main character here to figure it out, and he didn't want to outright say it, or just other reasons. I'm gonna stick with the other reasons. 
I suppose she's right. In a way, it's just that Masto is so straightforward about everything. For him to be so roundabout now is un underestimatedly strange. Actually, that would be strange. But at this point, I'll, we'll have to kind of check that stuff out le next episode when we think about it. So, I'll see you guys next time, and I hope all of you have a great and wonderful time! Hey, uh, you guys gotta think of uh, some reason behind uh, why Mouse did it too! So, pretty much see you guys next time, and I hope all of you have a great and wonderful time!